One of the greatest realizations in the world for me was the day I realized that God was for me, not against me. I, I grew up spending most of my life thinking God was against me. He's not. He's not against you either. If you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, hit the like button below and hit subscribe to see more of our content. Now back to the video. I remember the day back in 1997 or so that I heard the Paul Balash song, the happy song, and his lyric line in there that said, God is for me, not against me. And boy, my eyes open. I said, Lord, that's true. You are for me. You're not against me. All my life, I felt like God was just waiting around the corner for the opportunity to hit me upside the head. <laughs> not literally, but in so many words, yes, I did feel that way. I felt like my heavenly father, my creator, somehow was against me. And I don't know how I could have come up with that. And there's so many scriptures that refute that and teach us just the opposite. But the one I want to talk about is the most blatant passage that was instrumental in me starting this page, the um, House of Shalom. The, the thing that most led me to identify myself as what Proverbs 12, 20 calls a counselor of Shalom. Someone who goes about advertising that we can have shalom and that God expects us to live in shalom. Psalm 85 and verse 8. And this is what it says. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak shalom to his people. Now I know the English word is peace, but that's such a squeezed translation of the word shalom. Shalom means everything in my life is complete and everything is in order and God is providing my security, my provision, my health, my safety, my well-being. And so my life is at peace. <laughs> that is shalom. And God says in Psalm 85, 8, I will hear, or the writer says, I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will or he is speaking shalom to his people. That word speak, which is used twice there, is the most off Hebrew word for the word word. In other words, I'm going to hear the word of God over my life. What is it? Shalom. Shalom. God says shalom. God says shalom. Will you receive it? That's the life God has for us. That's Psalm 85 and verse 8. And then we got Jeremiah 29, 11, that familiar passage that where God says, I know the thoughts I'm projecting towards you and projecting into your mind. They're not thoughts of evil or to do you harm. They're thoughts of shalom to give you the kind of future you hope for, expect and pray for. <laughs> That's the heart of your father for you. Will you receive his shalom for your life? And yes, there's a warning there in Psalm 85, 8. If we turn on God and, and go for the ways of folly or foolishness, you know, against God, we get self-confident, self-righteous, arrogant, and we don't trust in God. We're not going to have shalom. But as long as our knee is bowed to our Creator, our heart is for Him, our life is after Him, our heart is after Him, then we know the life that He has for us. And it is nothing but a life of shalom. Those are the plans He has for you. Those are the words He's decreeing over your life. Step into his shalom. Shalom to you.